So it looks like the legal battle for Erica Jane is far from over. The infamous airings that she's worn on the show and on red carpets that's now worth over a million dollars, a judge is now forcing the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star to turn them over to the trustee. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So it's been a while since we really talked and digged into an Erica Jane lawsuit or legal trouble. As you know, we recap the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills every single Thursday here on the channel, and Normally, this would be Real Housewives of Beverly Hills d Day talking about the show. But we have to talk about Erica Jane because it's been a while. It's been a while. Remember, there was a time when we actually went through the auction of the Girardi Keith Law Firm. Those were some good days. They, they seem so far away. Well, as you know, there's been a battle over these earrings. These earrings that Tom Girardi bought for Erica Jane like for $750,000. However, they're now worth over a million. So I have to let you know what we do here. We cite our sources. So first I saw this mentioned on T Tamara Tattle's Instagram. So I had to go over to the website. Then I also saw it yesterday when Ronald Richards, that's another name we haven't said in quite a while, tweeted about this. So first let me just get into what Ronald Richards posted and then we'll get into what Radar Online is saying and all that good stuff. So Ronald posted this almost 17 hours ago. He says the earrings are gone. The trustee already has Erica Jane's former earrings. The judge is forfeiting all rights of Erica Jane to the earrings. What a hearing. The judge agrees with the trustee. Motion granted. So as you know, there have been a lot of back and forth. I even talked about when we were doing one of our recaps about what the Bravo docket laid out and what Erica was saying in court in regards to this earring. She was trying to keep these earrings, even if the, the money that was used to buy the earrings could possibly be victim's money. Go over to the Bravo docket. They explain it in uh, legal terms and break down exactly what those terms mean in layman terms. So our friends over at Tamara Tattles writes, Erica Jane was in court today trying to avoid charges of embezzlement for not turning over the $750,000 diamond earrings to the trustee. The trustee won. The judge basically found Erica Jane complicit in the embezzlement. That's, that's important. So when Erica Jane is on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills saying, things have been disproven. Now is the time to have fun. Now is the time to have fun, Erica. So Tamara writes, the judge basically found Erica Girardi, Erica Jane Girardi, complicit in the embezzlement of these earrings. Could she be facing t jail time, Tamara writes? It would seem so. I love how Erica was crying about her life on Bravo while wearing the earrings. So as I said at the top of this video, Erica has worn these earrings on the show multiple times. The audacity. The audacity. So the judge said the facts are straightforward. The judge said that there was fraud and embezzlement. The time, these were funds in trust. It wasn't taken out for cost or fees. It was taken out for embezzlement. The $750,000 was made out of the trust, which was improper. Erica's attorney tried to say that she didn't know that they were purchased with stolen money. That is irrelevant. She was in possession of goods that were purchased with stolen money. But here's the thing, and this is why I'm so glad I, I have so many different sources of information. As I said to you before, the Bravo docket posted about this, I think like last week or the week before, breaking down how in legal terms, she was trying to justify, or at least her legal team was trying to justify, even if it was bought with this money, she still had a right to it. This is why people have an issue with you, Erica. It's not that, oh, you were some doting wife that had no idea what, er what your husband was doing. It's the fact that you've been making excuses. excuses. You, see, you really do seem complicit in, in keeping all of the things that he bought with victims' money. Let me focus. So she was in possession of goods that were purchased with stolen money. The earrings are gone. The trustee already has possession of the earrings, and they will go toward the victim's Funds. As you know, the trustee was set up in order to find the money. 
in the Girardi Keys bankruptcy. That's this is what they've been doing and investigating for over a year now. So for those of you that may be new to the channel or might be new to this lawsuit, Radar Online is reminding us, in 2020, Girardi and his firm were forced into bankruptcy by creditors who claimed the once respected attorney refused to pay his debts. J Erica Jane's husband stands accused of running his firm like a Ponzi scheme. Many of his former clients, including orphans, widows, and a fireburn victim, that is the Rui Gomez family, all have the same story. As you know, on the recent, epi recent episodes of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Erica, although she said she couldn't say anything about the victims because it's a legal matter, she chose to take that, that specific moment to talk about how some victims may have been paid and are just basically saying that they're not, they had not been paid. So she's calling them liars. So in court, his former client said Girardi would hash out a settlement for them, but then come up with excuses when it came time to pay out. The court then appointed a trustee, as I mentioned, to take, take over control of Girardi's property and assets. Months later, the trustee sued Erica Jane for the return of $25 million. The suit demanded that the Bravo star repay m the money Girardi's firm spent on bills for her company, EJ Global. The trustee demanded that Erica Jane hand over the diamond earrings purchased in 2007 for $750,000, which are now worth $1.4 million. She objected, claiming she had no knowledge of her husband's alleged embezzlement. As I said to you before, now the judge has decided, no, you were complicit, hand them over. In yesterday's hearing, the judge said it did not matter that Erica Jane was unaware of the alleged crimes and ordered that they are property of the estate. According to Law.com, they said this is an unfortunate case. The fact, as far as I am concerned, are pretty straightforward. There was embezzlement fraud from day one, not by Erica Girardi, but, but, but Mr. Girardi. And the facts are laid out in the record. The trustee gets the record the best she can. Look at you, Ronald Richards, speaking to the press, per usual. So attorney Ronald Richards, who previously worked on the bankruptcy, as you guys know, told Radar following the ruling in court, the decision to award the earrings to the estate was a just justifiable one. Erica's fantastical belief that she could keep the proceeds of an embezzlement of the client trust account was disturbing and should never have been argued. He's basically saying Erica should have never even tried to fight this because now all of you trying to be the innocent doting wife, now you do look complicit. You do look, look like you knew more than you did. And you do look like not just Tom Girardi was stealing from victims, you also were stealing from victims. He continues, he says, she has no compassion and one day soon her attorney and her will know that just because you claim willful blindness doesn't mean you get to keep stolen property. She will be liable for all funds paid on her behalf and all the gifts provided with the stolen client funds. So Radar Online reported previously, and I haven't been keeping up to date on the Erica Jane stuff because there's just so much all the time. And a lot of you have checked out on it too. So Radar Online previously reported that Erica Jane recently revealed in court she was informed by the California Franchise Tax Board that she owed $2.2 million dollars for 2019. I do not have the ability to pay, she wrote in a declaration. So she's fa facing a lot of money issues and word on the street, her sugar daddy, her latest one, allegedly, has cut her off. That's just the word on the street. I can't help you with that. And Erica, I'm not trying to help you. Guys, as always, l I wanna know your reaction to this. Look, there's, there's still millions and millions of dollars that still need to be paid. Will they get $25 million from Erica Jane? No, but they're going to get those earrings. Let's continue this conversation below. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.